Welcome back to another YouTube video and today by popular demand I will be talking about content briefs and how I specifically do my content briefs. Now as you can see here we actually have an article on FatRank already discussing content briefs and what they actually are. One thing I will do is I will link to this article down below so you can actually read this for yourself. I highly recommend you guys do. Now, one thing that is important is that there are different content briefs for different types of pages. For example, we have got hub page, we have pillar posts, supporting articles, listicles, top of the funnel, and obviously landing pages as well. So the content brief can very much differ depending on the actual type of post that you are looking to create. So I'm gonna be showing you guys multiple different ways that you can build out a content brief. Strategy number one will require just and Google Bard. However, you guys can also use tools such as Market Muse, Phrase, and Surfer SEO as well to essentially build upon the foundational work. Before we get into this, this video make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and i can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website this is the keyword that we will be building a content brief for it is how to rank higher in google and as we can see here we have the likes of ahrefs backlinko wordstream rock content google support uh, search engine journal and semrush all ranking for this keyword are so there are some fairly difficult competitors already ranking for this keyword. We want to come in and essentially build the best content brief based on who is already ranking there. And by doing that, what we will be looking to do is essentially what we want to be doing is replicating what's already there and essentially trying to build a better article. So step number one, what we want to do is build a list of competitors that we actually feel are relevant to us. So for example, the likes of Ahrefs, Backlink, or Word stream are all probably direct competitors to do with fat rank however support.google if we actually look at the content itself don't actually have that much content so they might not be winning based off the content that's actually provided on the page however they do have a lot of good links pointing through to the support.google web page but if we then take a look at some of the competitors further down on the list, Search Engine Journal, Influencer Marketing, Hub.com and SEMrush, they're all direct competitors with fat rank. So what we want to do is essentially get a list of all of our competitors first and stick it into a Google Sheet. So once you have so once you have individually went and picked the most relevant websites to your website, then we will create our list. For this example, I'm only going to be using free websites. However, you can use as many as you want that are on the page one results. One thing to bear in mind is if you are doing this for a local business, say for example, you want to try and rank for lawyers in London, what you might end up finding is that there will be sites, for example, like Yelp or directory websites. Try to avoid those websites sites what we want to be doing is looking at our competitors if you're a local business yell isn't necessarily always your competitor so just bear that in mind when you are doing this step then once you have your urls in your google sheet we're going to be using a simple command to get all of their subheadings so this is the command that we will be using equals import xml a1 which grabs the url from our a1 cell and we are also looking at all of the subheadings as well one thing to bear in mind is you can also get subheadings H6 as well. So we have got everything from our Ahrefs URL and I'm going to do the exact same for our two other competitors as well. So as we can see here, we have very quickly extracted all of our subheadings from our competitors. Again, you can do as many as you want. Obviously, the more that you do, you will need to essentially try and remove the duplicates, but I will show you a strategy on how you can do that. When we actually have this sheet, one thing to bear in mind when we are looking at the subheadings prior to sticking this into ChatGBT with our prompt is that in some cases, there will be some subheadings where it won't be actually relevant. So if we take a look at Backlinko here, and if we just copy, leave a comment, as we can see here, their leave a comment box is actually marked as a H2. Now, one thing we obviously don't want to do is copy that in. Same goes with Influencer Marketing Hub. They have got 10 rebranding agencies for identity transformation. If we actually look at this page, this is actually a internal link. So just bear that in mind when you are taking a look at this sheet. You might need to do a little bit of digging just to make certain that you are copying the right subheadings into ChatGBT.
So this is the prompt I actually ended up using. And as we can see here, I need you to create me a content brief for the following keyword, how to rank higher in Google. Here is a list of competitor subheadings, H2s through to H5s. Can you remove any duplicates and create a big content brief for my website, Fat Rank? And all I've done is I have just copied and pasted all of the subheadings from my competitors and here is what it has come back with so content brief for how to rank higher in google for fat rank and it has a un introduction section one understanding google so we have certain subheadings within here so what is google ranking why does your google ranking still matter the evolution of google rankings and we then have a comprehensive steps to improve our rankings. So keyword research, yes. On-page SEO, yes. Matching content with search intent, yep. Enhancing user experience, yes, that's really good. Technical SEO, internal and external link building. Utilizing additional strategies. So for example, it has mentioned EEAT and creating a Google business profile. Content optimization and updates, performance and tracking, continuous improvements and expertise, advanced tips and tricks, such as boosting your CTR and using internal linking smartly, your conclusion and the call to action. So that right there has been our way of building a content brief just by using ChatGBT and obviously copying and pasting all of our competitors subheadings now strategy number two i'm going to be using two different tools for this so the next strategy that i'm going to be showing you guys is market muse now the really good thing about market muse is that it doesn't always necessarily do copycat content it will try and find you new subheadings new questions and that is the real pro about this tool so for example as we can see here, subheading wise, it has extracted a lot of subheadings. So for example, understanding Google Maps ranking to boost your business growth. We actually didn't get that with our chat GBT method. And that is pretty important to actually have on the page. Now, another section it also has is the questions. Now, previously, what a lot of people would do is they would extract the people also ask and also the Google drop down as well and they would get their questions that way. However, what Market Muse does is that it also takes a look at related searches and for example, can you pay to rank on Google? This would never have actually come up on how to rank higher in Google. However, this would be a very relevant question to actually have on the page. So for example, if we take a look here, can you pay to rank on Google? Obviously Google itself ranks number one for it. However, you've got the likes of Link Whisperer, you've got Bubble Up, you've got SEO, SLY ranked for it, and you've got a lot of other different websites back. Now, one thing that's super interesting about this query is can you pay to rank on Google? A lot of people would have necessarily created an individual page for can you pay to rank on Google and also a separate page page on how to rank higher in Google. However, if you actually take a look here, how to rank higher on Google in 2020, this is the exact same article that we copied a couple minutes ago. And if we take a look here, can you pay to rank on Google? It actually hasn't been mentioned on this page. So for example, Brian Dean could essentially add, can you pay to rank on Google on this page? And he will essentially rank higher for the actual query itself. So this is a really good thing about Market Muse where other tools might not necessarily get you this level of information because it bases it off on actual related searches and not just copycat content. So the really good thing about Market Muse is the information gain value. So for example, if you were to just build a website on copycat content where you are just replicating your subheadings and you're not actually bringing anything new to the SERP, you will essentially get hit by Google. Google wants to see new content. It wants to see new subheadings, new questions on your actual article. And Market Muse is really good for essentially adding that value to it. So my go-to strategy would be to, first of all, create my content brief using this strategy. However, any related questions that I can possibly add using Market Muse, I would definitely do by actually creating the content brief on Market News itself. So the last strategy that I will be showing you guys is with Google Bard and we are using this to get related questions. So can you give me related questions to how to rank higher in Google? And I'm just gonna hit submit. So as you can see here, it has just come back with a variety of different questions to actually add on our page. So for example, how can I improve local SEO ranking for my business? 
what are the best strategies for e-commerce websites. So we can actually have these questions on the FAQ section of our page on how to rank higher on Google and we will have a full content brief. So that has been my video on how to write a content brief. If you guys do have any further questions, feel free to drop them down below. And, and if you want to book me for a free 15 minute growth strategy for your website, make sure to check out kadra-.com. The link is in the description. Thanks.